kind of thing. So without further ado, then I'm just going to turn it over to Addie. Hi, everybody. I'm Addie Ola Coker, but everybody calls me Addie. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> Less syllables. Um, I am at the School of Pharmacy. I teach first year students um, in pharmaceutics. And I, when I'm in class, I use pull-in quite a bit. And I do that because it increases students and en student engagement. Um, we have class sizes of about 100 students. And you can imagine sitting through a two hour, three hour lecture just going straight through it. It can get pretty boring. And so um, when I first joined the pharmacist school, we had clickers available. And so I started um, pulling there about 10 years ago. Um, so um, before we start, I'm going to go ahead and have us answer a couple of polls just to get an idea of um, how familiar and how comfortable people are with polling. And so it's four questions, I believe. Um, Yes, and so if you can go ahead and do you all see the polls? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you just go ahead and answer. And uh, I'll give us a couple of minutes. And I just noticed, noticed as the co-host that I don't get to answer the questions. Yeah, because... you don't, Jonathan. Oh. Jonathan. Jonathan, do you want me to take you off for a minute? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, no, we just get to watch them. Yeah, okay. just, I learned something new, so we're just sharing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So, I see nobody has fully answered. But okay, good. There we go. Yeah, you can get some answers. So, I guess Kathleen and Jonathan, you're the only people who are able to see um, mm -hmm. the progress. Okay. Yeah, submit. My submit button doesn't work, Addy. Yeah, mine doesn't either. I've, it does I've not. Answered, it does so, not. if I didn't answer the third one, is that why it doesn't work? Um, so I answered all three and it doesn't work. Oh, okay, okay. There's four, there are four, four questions. Four questions. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Don't yeah, keep the fourth one. Okay. Okay, let me go down. Answer okay. all four. You should finish. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> learning here. So, un unless you ask. Can I say one more time? I closed it. I answered to only three questions and the, I closed it. Huh. Can I see one more time? Can, okay, I, there it goes. I don't, okay. unless I relaunched, I end and relaunch the poll, um, I don't believe I can do that oh, right okay. now. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm sure your answers were saved. So okay. it says six of nine people have been, okay. Seven of nine. Seven of nine. It worked now for me. Okay, good. So the cool thing that you can't see it on my, on actually, I wonder. Kathy, can you take me out of guest house? I can for do that. Yeah, I'll take option? you out. Yeah, of course. Somehow I'm not. So I just shared my screen. So um, as the faculty member, this is what's going, what it's going to look like. You actually can't see anything, uh, Addie. Oh, you can if I shared my screen with the polling. Okay. You can see it. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. can't Is it just the co hosts? You have a second screen? Did we? I, yes, I do. Maybe we were, maybe had on extend. That, that's, that's fine. Okay, so we've got seven of nine people who have voted. So I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. And I am going to share the results. So on your screen, can you see the polling results? Mm. Yes. yes. All right. So uh, for the first question, it looks like a little bit more than half of us are um, somewhat familiar, three of us not familiar. Uh, with regards to how comfortable, um, a couple of us are very, seem to be comfortable. Most of us are somewhat comfortable. And um, how often? And looks like the majority, about 43%, say rarely. Um, and then, and in what ways do you want to? So, most of, everybody wants to use it to gauge student understanding. So, um, that's definitely one good way. And that's one of the ways that I tend to use polling um, is as I'm going through the lecture, I'll ask specific questions. Um, to see how well students understand what, what um, we're doing. Um, 
identify fuzzy spots, um, keep students engaged. And as I mentioned earlier, that's, that's definitely a big plus for polling. It, it keeps students awake. And in my reviews, in my um, course, um, course evaluations, that's one thing that students talk about quite a bit with regards to how much they love the polling. So students actually like this. They actually like this. So, okay, um, I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, there was a PowerPoint presentation that I put together for a video and I'm going to go through it. Um, with us real quick. So I just have to find just a minute. If, if I could ask a question. Yes, please. Um, so the when you when you are doing the polling, you said you use clickers? I used to when we first started um, the School of Pharmacy, the, the school had um, invested in some clickers. We used Turning Point at that time. Uh, we no longer do that. Um, I've gone through cahoots, poll everywhere. And um, with, with Zoom, since Zoom has the polling feature, it's quite nice to use that um, real easily. The only thing with the Zoom polling is you can only ask, um, say, multiple choice type questions. So you can't do anything like fill in the blank or open-ended questions. So that's the only um, I, I guess downside of that, but it's it's built right into it's built right into Zoom, and so it's pretty easy to use. So, um, just a minute here. So I have to admit, um, Susan had asked me us to talk about our experiences. I'm currently not teaching. <laughs> And so I haven't had to actually do this. So you are all, you all are my first students. <laughs> you all are my first students. So, um, but you've used all kinds of other polling. So I've yeah. used all you've kinds of, before, you've done them all. well, <laughs> you, I guess you could say that. Yeah. I've used all kinds of other polling. So what do you see on your screen right now? I see the first slide of your PowerPoint. Okay, great, great. So we'll, we'll, we'll start from here. Um, so this is the reason we do polling. So your students don't feel like this throughout your, your, your online <laughs> session. Because <laughs> otherwise it's like, okay, blah, 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 right? <laughs> um, so, Let's see, um, can you get into your, you are in your Zoom account right now. Okay, um, does anybody have this screen? Like when you get to your Zoom account where you get to all your, it's basically your main Zoom account and what we're looking for is where it says settings. And to, to Addy, I would add that the, the best way to go to this is mm -hmm. to go into Cardinal Apps. Yes. And just click Zoom and then it'll yep. bring this up for you. That's the yep. best way for everyone to do it. Go yep. to be a cardinal. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that now, Eddie? Yes, I can definitely try to do that. So I'm going to. Okay. So if you go to apps uiw.edu. And for some reason, okay. There it is. Yep, and click on Zoom. All right. And so you get to your main page of meetings. All right. So go to settings. It's about one, two, three, four. Fifth one down. And you want to scroll all the way near the bottom till you see polling. Is everybody with me or should I slow down? Okay. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you want to make sure that this but button right here is enabled. Okay, so click on it until you see this blue instead of gray. So you want it to be blue. So this allows you to pull while you're in your Zoom session. 
and you can set up the questions beforehand. Okay. All right. So if you already know what questions you want to ask students um, before your session, you can actually enter the polls in before you start. Okay, and so the way to do that is, I just made up this new meeting, my meeting. You click on the meeting that you've scheduled with your students and you go down to where it says poll. Do you all wanna have some time to just set up a meeting to go through this while I'm doing this? Or would you like me to just continue? Would you like for you to continue? Yeah, okay. yeah you can continue. Yeah. All right, okay, so um, when you get to poll, you click on add poll and you can basically begin to add your questions, whatever questions you want to ask. What day is today? And then um, answer choices. You can have a single choice question, which means students only answer one choice or you can make it a multiple choice. So one of the, um, I think was the last question that you all answered, that was a multiple choice. So allowed you to enter more than one um, answer choice. And then you, if you wanna add more questions to the same poll, kind of like what you all, with the four questions in the poll, you just continue to add questions. If you want to do one question per poll, you just leave it as that. And once you're done, you click on save and that's how you set up your, your polls. So, um, I'm gonna go back to my slide presentation. And Abby, um, yes. one, one thing that, to add on that is, in a meeting, you can, and I, and I know you know this, but I just want to share it with everyone else, mm -hmm. uh, is you can have um, one poll that just has, you know, like four questions like we just saw. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted to do it, you could have, say, four polls mm -hmm. that were four separate questions. Mm -hmm. And so that way, if you just wanted your students that, you know, you're lecturing on a certain topic, you pop up that one question, they answer it, and then you can later, when you're in a different part of your lecture, Bring up just that uh, a poll with just one question where you want to answer, get another one out there so and that's yep. it, and it's just yeah there there it is right there yep. so. so yeah here the first one's got four the next one has one the next one has two so you can set it up that way and to do that you just continue to click add and that will create new polls and each poll could have as many questions as you want i guess i've never checked to see like what's the maximum number of questions you can put in a poll but um so, okay, thank you for, for adding that. Once you have your polls set up during your meeting, do you, um, do you all see the screen that's just it's got my face? Okay. Yeah. Um, so once you have the polls enabled, you should have this set, this, the poll button right there. And you simply click on that and it'll bring up um, your first poll. And so, and then you click on lunch poll and that will bring up the poll to your students. And so on my screen, or on your screen, this is what it's going to look like. And so you weren't able to see this when you were answering the questions. When students are answering the questions, which you probably experienced, this is what it kind of looks like. When, you're, when you've kind of, the time has ended for students to answer, you can share the results and that's how you all were able to see everybody's results. If for any reason, maybe students didn't answer the question correctly and wanted to ask the question again, you can go ahead and relaunch the poll and it'll bring it back up. And now keep in mind, whatever responses they had before, it's going to totally erase it, um, but you can always relaunch it. Um, and then um, this, that's what it looks like when people are looking at it. Now, the nice thing about Zoom is you can actually, while you're in the middle of a session, create new polls. So to do that, you would go ahead and click on polls again. And then there's an edit button that shows up. And once you click on edit, it'll bring up this window where you can type in new questions. Okay, should I do that again or? Yes, please. Okay, do it again. all right. So. And maybe what I should do is I'm going to get out of my PowerPoint and then go back to our meeting if I can. Maybe that'll do it. 
Um, how do I share? You have a Mac. What's that? No, I, I it's a, it's a Surface Pro. What I'm trying to do is go back to so our I meeting and, yeah, I could I do that or no? Yeah, I mean, that is tougher on, on, on PCs. Okay. Actually share, to actually share that meeting, Zoom in a Zoom, you know. All right. You so, okay. share another meeting. All right. So, well, we'll I'll just do it on the, yeah. On, yeah. On the PowerPoint. Yep. Okay. So, click on polls. And when your poll shows up, there is an edit button that you can click. And once you click on edit, it brings up the screen to type in your questions. So you can do this while you are talking, okay? And then you finish typing in the questions, you hit save, and right away that poll is available. Now, the other way that is you can also do it um, is you can actually go to your meeting um, and click add. So maybe you're talking, you've got your PowerPoint on, you have a second screen and you click on that meeting and you just add the question right there. So you can either add a new poll or you can add questions to um, a previous poll and immediately it'll pop up so that when you go to, let me go back here, when you go back to polls and you click it, your new question will show up right away. How do you get to that question? Once you're done editing and saving, there's this upside down, I don't know what you call it, upside down arrow <laughs> right next to the ed edit button. And if you click that, it'll give you all the polls that you've written for that session. And you can just select which one you want. And it'll pop up and students can answer. So I think I went a little bit too quickly. Um, what questions do you have before I continue? Okay, I have a question. Yes, on the okay say you did all your polling mm -hmm. questions ahead of time and you had them mm -hmm. so like you did the first one with us and then you have part of the lecture and you know that when you want to bring in the second poll mm -hmm. um does in zoom does it automatically bring in the second polling question and how does that, I, I guess I, I'm asking, how does that come up? Or do you have to, you have to choose polling question number two? Or what if you decided to, like you did on the edit a new question mm -hmm. and add a polling question, does that, does that um, go against if you had polling question two and then three? can you put another question in between one of those two and uh, is it sequential or um does yeah that, that makes sense it, it makes know, sense that's that's a great question because i i actually tried to do that today and it is it goes at the end so you okay. can't move them around unfortunately you cannot so if you have one two three one of the new question it'll go down to four um, I tried, I couldn't figure out a way to move it around. But to get to it, once you get to poll, um, your first questions will pop up. But if you click on this, where you've, you see where I've got that blue arrow pointing? Right. Isn't it? Once you click on that, it will actually bring up all the polls. So even though I have put, like you said, it automatically goes to polling question number four. Yes. I can actually click on number four yes um and it's not automatically going to pull up number two no so once okay. you click on number four then you click on launch poll and okay. it'll bring up number four okay thank yeah. you sure that, that's a great question thank you for Abby, asking. can i ask a question too yes ma'am okay so it took me a while to get here mm -hmm. it sounds to me like um in um in this use of polls, you have to kind of go through the whole poll all at once, unlike being able to like embed uh, poll questions in a slide like you would with poll everywhere, which is the reason for all the separate little polls, right? That's the workaround? Yeah, you basically have to set okay. up your polls ahead of time, or you can type it in during, um, but yeah, it's not like poll everywhere where you can embed it into your slides. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, cool. Any others? No. 
Okay. So um, the last bit that I wanted to talk about was, um, and I didn't, I, sh I could have asked this question earlier. When, for those of you who, who think, who would like to use polling, do you care if your students, if you know who, how each student answered, or do you just care to know overall the percentage of the number of students that chose a certain poll? Like, would you well, like, would you like to know after the end of your session, I wonder how so-and-so answered all the questions. How are they doing with the material? I would like to know that. Okay. Yeah, I would too. Okay. The understanding ones. Yeah. Yes. So if you would like to do that, um, what you will need to go to is when you set up your meeting, at the very beginning when you're setting up your meeting, there is um, all the, you know, the title, the description, the times. You want to go down to where it says registration and click on required. What this does, it, it'll actually make students, you'll have to, when you send them the invitation, it'll make them register for the session, which I guess for security purposes is a good thing so that you won't have anybody kind of bomb your session. Um, but what it also does, it, it'll keep a record of each person's answer. If you don't do this, if you don't have um, required um, selected, when you go to the end of the session, so when, when I'm done, because I don't think anybody had to register for, the, for, the, for this session, um, when you pull up a report, which you, you can pull up right here where it says report, all, it'll, all it will show is say guess, 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 guess. So you will know who answered what. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know who answered what, make sure you click um, required. And once again, it makes students register, but it keeps a record of everybody's answer. And then um, when you're done, you can go back to that meeting, go to where it says reports. Um, you can give it a range or if you know the exact date, um, click search and it'll come up with the list that that meeting. And once you select that meeting that, oops, you just, sorry. Once you select that meeting and you click on poll report, it'll give you a CSV file that gives a record of everybody's answers. So that's how you do that. Was that clear? Or any questions about that? Anything you'd like me to go over? Or would you like me to actually show it on the screen? Show it to us. Show it to you. Okay. Show it. Show it. So let me try and pull up um, a different, I think I had one. Okay. So um, I'll go back to meetings and I'll try to see one. So I think this particular one, I had some polls selected. All right, so I do have, this an old meeting that I had some polls and I've had folks answer. So once you click on, get to that meeting itself, you click on reports. Y'all with me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we go to reports and, uh, okay, I'm not showing anything for this one. I may not have had anybody answer. It's, it's like on meeting. Meeting, thank you. There we go. That's, ah, thanks. That's what I needed to do. Okay, so I know this is old, so I'm going to go all the way back to say March and see what shows up. Okay. Um, this might be one where I have, oh, cancel. And Addie, one of the things, um, yeah, yep, you're doing it. Okay. I did notice as, as for everyone out there too, that when I was getting ready for this meeting, it, they only go back 30 days. That oh, was, really? I had a poll that I did, uh, about six weeks ago and I went to, I was going to get it so I could share it with everybody. And then I found out I couldn't find it. When I looked at the, the rules, it's 30 day limited on that. So. Oh, but, okay. But if you do do the report mm -hmm. and like, like you're doing now and you, and you do download it as a CSV, well then you can obviously save it and forever mm -hmm. if you wanted to. That's, that's very good to know. So I selected the meeting and then go to pull report up here and then generate and I'll say all registrants so report queue okay so 
I've got a bunch here and then you just have it you click on download and I'm not sure why it gave me so many but I don't think I've actually had anybody register for any of this polls that I asked so here's what I was talking about this was I didn't have anybody register so mm -hmm. All I have is guest, 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 which if you have them register, you should have their name and their email and all that information. Okay. So it's got the question and then it's got the answer. And this too were multiple um, choice or multiple answer questions. So you've got more than one answer. So I think that's really all I had to share. Um, any any questions? Um, I have a question on when you have the um, students register, yes. you can have them register. And can you do polls um, just verbally? Um, without having them pre-prepared, you know, you're, you're having a discussion and you see, and you know, I don't know because I haven't used it and mm -hmm. I don't know, something comes up mm -hmm. and you're thinking, wow, they're not really getting it or something. Mm -hmm. So you just want to say, okay, you know what, let me just take a poll right now. Mm -hmm. And you ask the question, can you just do it like that? And have one question and have them answer yes or no, and then have another question, yes or no? So th they would need to have a way to respond, right? Uh, uh, right. Patty, actually yes. that's true. She can do that. She can. Uh, if you click on, at the bottom of your screen, you have a button that says participants. Okay. And if you click on that option, then you'll see your participants. And there is an option to answer yes, no questions. Ah, okay. Um, I did that, not know that. In that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't okay. know that. There's okay. also a thing called screen. Uh, it's called reactions. And they can do a thumbs up as well. It's another oh, way okay. of, right. of I've doing seen that. that. So, okay. So I just put a thumbs up on my screen. So that mm -hmm. means that I, I agree with that. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you can do it on the fly. You don't have to be uh, by using the yes, no. Okay. But your students do have to open up their uh, their uh, participants window to do okay. that. Terry, do they have to register? No, this, no, they just have to be in the. They just have to be in the meeting, and they have to click their uh, participants window so the participants window opens. Okay. So that's an easy way to ask yes, no questions. But if you wanted more detail or more, more options, then you'd have to actually type a poll, right, yeah. Terry? Yeah, yeah. The big thing is, I think the big the the big takeaway from this is this is a really quick way to gauge for understanding. Because the biggest thing that you want to be able to do is if you're answering a if you've got a topic that requires a little bit of, of finesse and depth. Mm -hmm. um, you really want to make sure that your students are following you. And so um, they also have an option that's telling you to slow down or go faster. Okay. Um, if you don't have your, uh, everybody in the audience, if you don't have the participants window open, please, uh, it's uh, on the bottom, put your mouse on the bottom of the screen. You'll see your share screen, your green square, square share screen button. And off, you should be to the left of that. You'll see a button that says participants. Go ahead and click that and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So now I can see this and I can just pop that up. I can say yes, no. I can say slower, faster. And I can do a thumbs up, thumbs down there. Uh, and all the responses, I don't know if you can, you know, if you have that, if you have that uh, open, then you'll see the check marks and the, and the thumbs up that people are responding all with. Okay. Um, Dr. Anaya, you have a question? No, sorry, I was just okay. clicking. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I just saw that. Thank you. It works. No, that, that, that's, <laughs> that, that really helps to see uh, that you can just do something quickly oh, right. with students yeah. without mm -hmm. having to have the poll um, for more, um, to have it to want to know more in-depth information from the students. So good, yeah, thank you. Just kind of on the fly. 
So yeah. do me a favor. If you are able to open up your participants button, I'm going to interrupt you just a little bit, Addie. Sure. We'll Go do ahead. this on the fly to make sure a few people get it. Okay. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, yes or no, if you're able to get your uh, find a participants button, open it, and choose an option. Outstanding. Okay. Good. Samuel, thank you. Yeah, the thumbs up is under yeah. more. Yeah, it's under and more, yes. Voice, thumbs up. Uh, and under the more button? Got to click more, oh, which makes okay. it go faster. Peggy, how about you? Have you found it yet? Or Patsy? I can't find more. <laughs> okay. Can you find, but can you find participants? Yeah. Okay, so just go ahead and click participants and give us a yes or no. The same thing. Uh, okay, good. And Peggy, good. Okay, everybody's everybody's in. Okay. Thank you so much for doing that for me. Just so we, <laughs> just just helps us know that uh, that uh, everybody can see that because it's a really important tool. Uh, that you want it's kind of one of those things that you'll want your students to check off once they start up the zoom meeting once you get used to it yeah um well addy thanks so much or do we have sure. any questions for addy before she we turn it over to jonathan any you can thank you addy, for letting me interrupt you oh no problem thank you for interrupting <laughs> it's participation thank you follows the theme terry so you get <laughs> So thank you, Terry. So we'll we'll go we'll, we'll just turn it over to Jonathan up in our up in the corner there for me. So Jonathan, do you want to hello all do your uh, magic for the for the folks that I haven't met uh, in person? Um, I do uh, all the military and veteran affairs for the university, and uh, and what that involves um, is I do a lot of training uh, at times. So that's where the polling has come in handy for me. If I've got to say train. Oh, all the advisors on military benefits. Uh, the, the feature that I like one is I can get the feedback and keep it more exciting, right? So I can say, what branch of service do you do you have the most students uh, that you advise? You know, and they, they can click Army, Navy, or whatever they want to do. Uh, but then, but that 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 registration piece is key because I can also, when I'm putting that poll out there and and um, go get get that report like Abby showed us how to do, is then I can say, um, do, you, who, do you advise for uh, the school professional studies or for main campus? And then when that person, I know who that person is, and I can go, okay, yeah, now I know, yes, you're a school professional studies advisor um, for my records. And I can just pop that up fast into the, into the meeting as I'm doing the training, and then wait till later after the meeting to go back and see what everybody answered um, as far as say that, that question. Um, but that's why I do like the, the registration feature for, for that, um, that component. Uh, the, the other things that, you know, like I've, I've done is, so during the training, um, you know, I say I'm talking about different benefits, VA benefits, uh, active duty tuition assistance, uh, and then just what the processes are, I can pop up in there. Um, who should you contact if you have a, uh, a benefits, a billing question? And then, and then if they were paying attention, they would hopefully know it was the business office. <laughs> but, uh, but, if, but I can do a quick poll. And then obviously, as soon as I've, in the past, when I've done that first one, well, suddenly I noticed everyone's really focused into the, into the Zoom meeting, like everyone's looking and paying attention to see what, what we have to say. Uh, and the first time I did it, I just, everyone just popped up as guests and it wasn't, you know, I didn't, I wasn't grading everyone, so to speak. But when, once they figured out that they, they had, uh, it was registration and they knew the answers, it was just, it, it was that way. But the, one of the best ways that I've seen is I was actually on, in a Zoom meeting, uh, learning about learning about joint service transcripts that our Army and Navy and Marine Corps students uh, get from when they uh, leave the military or while they're in the military, I should say. And they they did they did it. They had a meeting going, and the the way that they it was so effective is they had uh, they had two people running the meeting, and they just had one, the person off to this one person presenting the information, and the other person just taking care of the poll. So that. 
that, that's hard in a classroom when you're the, the sole instructor. Um, so, but the, but it, the advantage that Zoom allows you to do is to pre-make the polls so that you can just put the poll out there. And so that's why, for me, I always generate the polls in advance. Um, and then if I have to on the fly add one, I certainly will. Um, uh, but that way it doesn't slow down the training or anything like that. So, uh, but that, that's, you know, some best practices that I've seen out there. And if anyone's got any questions, let them go. Let's hear them. Thanks, John. Can I add a little piece on talking about the responses that you get from uh, the polls? Uh, and uh, this could tag into either Jonathan or Addie's um, point. There's a, there's a physicist from Harvard who has just done some really nice stuff on this. And he, you know, he teaches these big cast of thousands classes. And um, what he's aiming for typically is the kind of question where usually two answers will emerge. So he's not looking for the quick check for understanding question. He's looking for the kind of item that, um, you know, there's going to be disagreement on. Um, and it seems to me you could kind of plan for those kinds of moments simply by, even if you've got a one question poll, um, just repeat, you know, make it a two question poll, the same question. And what, what this guy whose name I can't remember now does is he pulls, he sees the disagreement, and then he has students talk to each other in twos or threes, sharing their answer and defending their answer, and then he repolls. And it's amazing how it moves the uh, poll toward the correct answer, and it gives him kind of a, a talking and a teaching moment. So, you know, I, and he's got, you know, he's dined out on this quite a lot. He's gotten rather famous on this, so um, I thought I'd throw it in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> That's a neat t tidbit. I, I think it's, it definitely helps when, when you have those types of questions. And you know, you never know when that moment's gonna arise, when you mm -hmm. think it's gonna be easy and all of a sudden two different answers emerge. It's a kind of natural moment for that. Yeah, yeah I get that in uh, philosophy uh, where I have them, I give them a thought experiment and ask them, what would you do in this scenario? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say one thing or another, and then I can see whether there's gonna be disagreement, but a uh, nice thing now I know how to make a poll on the fly so that I can or I can even repeat the poll so that mm -hmm. I can ask this again at the end of a discussion what do they think now to see if there's a change. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. That's and, really good. Yeah. yeah and then see the change in the response that as far as the class. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and you know the, the, the uh, answer the question type here is very simple just a little multiple choice question but that doesn't mean that the sort of intellectual context has to be simple. Mm -hmm. A pretty simple question about some fairly sophisticated ideas. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very true. Well, any, 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 any other questions or thoughts? Everybody's assignment is to create a poll. <laughs> we'll come back here. We'll meet back here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find sharing. out if we've done our homework. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know you didn't register, but I took a screenshot. I know who's here. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> I did a little print screen. No. <laughs> no. No. So, uh, again, thank you so much, Addie, really. for sure thing. Yeah. And, and so, Addie, um, she presented on poll, uh, on poll Everywhere. Mm -hmm. poll, she's a polling expert. So... Um, and so then she graciously stepped in, or she presented um, in, in March when we had those meetings at the SEC that workshop. So, um, but yeah, and so we just appreciate every everyone here and, and Jonathan and Addie for um, sharing your wisdom. Absolutely. Knowledge. Yeah. 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 It's, okay. it's good to hear from somebody who's actually, you know, done it with students. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> so yeah, definitely his, his insight was good. But I, I have to add, I I I, I don't know, I I definitely use polling a lot simply because I, I don't know how else to kinda know how students are doing. Yeah. Because you know, right. we can talk, but you have no idea, you know, what they're getting unless you ask them. What they know. And mm -hmm. since we're online, um it's difficult. I mean you I guess you could have that conversation, but I don't yeah. know if students are as communicative online as they are in class you know even in a face-to-face -face class I like polling a lot because 
maybe you guys are more gifted teachers than me, but when I ask a question, I hear from the likely suspects. Mm -hmm. And what I want to know is what's going on in those other heads. Um, and polling mm -hmm. means that I'm going to get a little glimpse of what's going on across the board, not mm -hmm. two or three who always answer. And the other thing I like about it is it, it, it definitely helps students learn because if you're asking along the way and by the time you write your exam questions, I mean, there's so, there's so many questions you can ask about the same concept. And so if you've asked a little bit in class, then the high stakes assessments, it, it helps them. And uh, yeah, so I think it's, it's, it's a great tool. I think everybody should pull, it's just me. <laughs> well it just seems like I, I feel like now we're kind of getting to the meat of what zoom can do like breakout last night was just some really again powerful things in student participation and 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 um how that worked and, and tonight as well so um beyond the mechanics of just really what it can bring to your classroom so so um happy birthday zen and that's this for you <laughs> no. so, so much appreciated the song. <laughs> Thank well, you. I and all the different that. keys. <laughs> yeah, like all the keys of the world. Special too. What's that? The different tempos were nice too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it was. I should have turned my. I don't know. I should have turned my mic off and just like belted it. And then, <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Everybody gets a little bit, of, a little bit of time, and um, but uh, again, to discussion boards tomorrow night. So hope to see you back. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Have bye. a good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Kathy, Caesar and I are going to talk about tomorrow after we close the meeting. What are you doing? We're just going to talk about presentation tomorrow. Are you hanging out? Yeah. You're hanging out in the old meeting? Uh -huh. Hey, feel free, sis, sister. Hey, I'm leaving yeah. then. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm not going to end it then. Just, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll leave another way. I'll leave without. I and I see you guys tomorrow at 11, right? Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Till okay. tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Can somebody make me? Um, I only have the power to end the meeting. Can somebody make me and not a host? Yeah, I can make you. Well, I don't know if I can make you not a host. I'll make you a host. How do I get out I, of the meeting without? I think you have to make me the host. Okay. Wait, wait one sec. Okay. It's a nice plant you have back there. Kathy. Oh, thanks. You know what it is? Mother Moss tongue. And it, it, what is it's, that? oh. Did you water it today? <laughs> Why do you think it's dying? It looks like it's leaning over. I think it leans to the sun. Oh. I'll just go like this. No, 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 no. I, I water. Yeah, I, I overwater. But um, okay. no, it's a mother-in-law's tongue, and it's one of the. It's one of the. I'll only take one minute of your time. It it, it adds. Um, um, it's great for oxygenating. I'm not sure if that's a word. Your air. There's like three or four plants that really do it. So I got some pure air up in here. That's all I'm saying. So, okay, I am gonna make it. Okay, I gotta go now. I can leave now. I, I, okay. Hey, see you guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>